What's up everybody? Welcome back to Epic Quest Random Adventures and this week we're continuing with the Gathering Freshness. We got to sit down with the ninjas who are responsible for keeping Morton's List alive at the Gathering of the Juggalos. Uh, Chris, Tox, and Ian are homies who have been putting Morton's List down at the Gathering for over a decade now. So it's time for them to get a little bit of recognition and so you know who these hardworking dudes are. So we're just going to kick into the interview. What channel are they watching, Keegan? Epic Quest Random Adventures. When did you become a Juggalo and when was your first gathering? I became a Juggalo in 95, 96-ish when I was uh, in an orphanage and an older guy showed me Ringmaster. My first uh, gathering was in 2007. Oh boy, uh, I first became a Juggalo like a little bit before Malenko came out, which is strange because that's when most motherfuckers like jump on that. Uh, do you want me to go into like a full ass story like this is how I did that? Or do you want me to go into the gathering part? Yeah, just go into the gathering. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the first gathering I went to was the first one in Novi. This is my 21st streak today. Wow. I did not know that. Uh, the more you know. Yeah. Well, uh, I was like 10 or 11 the first time I heard anything by ICP. Uh, I'm 31 now, so you know. Uh, and my first gathering was the 10th annual. When did you start playing Morton's List? The gathering and the day it was released, right after the mystery seminar, ran and grabbed the book, started playing at that gathering. <laughs> That's a really difficult one. I want to say that that was like uh, 2004, I think. I was, I was 14 years old the first time I rolled a quest. So. I started playing Morton's List in 2007. What's your favorite Morton's List table? My favorite table is, I guess, cliche because that's everybody's favorite table, but yeah. Chaos. I have it tattooed to my leg. Chaos or Nightscape? It's kind of a toss up. Both have their appeal. No, pick one. You have to pick one. Uh, Chaos. There we go. Yeah. This is where it gets awkward. All right, it's easy to just say chaos is my favorite table because chaos has got the fun shit, but <laughs> I think the game as a whole has a lot. It can just make you go do that you didn't think you were going to go do. That includes the entirety of all the fucking tables. And if I could just push out and say, oh, it's chaos because it gets me out of my norm. But if chaos is like the norm of the shit that I like doing when I play it, is it out of the norm if I'm just on chaos all the fucking time? <laughs> so my answer, unless Brad is going to get mad, I don't have a favorite table. Dig it. I do dig that. <laughs> I dig that. All right. What led you to take over Morton's List events at the Gathering? I find Morton's List is extremely important, especially at the Gathering. People very frequently will walk around and not know exactly what to do, even if they're scheduled stuff to do. So, you know, we give them stuff to do. I just saw somebody in the parking lot. They were walking around. They were like, man, from like four to seven, we got nothing to do. And I told them, go find Morton's List. And they all looked at each other and said, that's a good idea. <laughs> and that's why it's important to me. So the Morton's List events at the Gathering were always my favorite memories of being able to gather. At the time when we started taking it over, there was zero representation. So we just decided to take it up and make sure that our favorite part of the gathering still existed. A lack of presence and uh, just people in general out there just trying to fucking do it. It's a, while, a little while, like, when we got into Hot Rock, uh, people just kind of fell off of it. And I was like, I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to start doing it. And then I roped Chris into helping me do it. <laughs> what is the most memorable Morton's List gathering experience you've had? This is a fun one. 
so uh, the Philly Scrubs <laughs> had uh, their campsite all set up and uh, all you know enclosed and everything, so you could like go into a hole basically, and inside of the hole was all like an entrance to each of their tents basically, and they could come out and be in a specific area. Uh, so we rolled Chillinous Invasion. And we were doing uh, a competition called Ninjas versus Pirates versus Zombies. My group were the pirates, and we were just going around being pirates, you know, or <laughs> being crazy and stuff. So our entire group, which was like 10 to 15 people, uh, may, it might have been a little bit less, probably closer to 10 people, uh, just kind of bombarded their campsite. So we walked into their little cubbyhole area where all their tents and stuff were. And all of us just like sat down and made ourselves comfortable. One of our members grabbed a bottle of water that was like, had like that much in it, it was like mostly drank. And he just started drinking it. Um, one of the scrubs was getting, they were all getting annoyed that we were even there. They didn't know who any of us were. And at the time, Joey Orange didn't really know me. So like, he, I think he knew that we first were together, but I'm not really sure, you know what I mean? But uh, so anyway, uh, you know, they start pelting us with popcorn, trying to get us to leave. And our inner circle is just like, ah, popcorn. <laughs> <They just laughs> Free start, eats. They just start eating it. It was great. So, uh, you know, Joey walks over to me and he's like, hey, so uh, you guys just like doing a pirate thing? And I was like, ah, maybe. <laughs> and uh, he's like, I got something for you. And he went inside and he grabbed this hat for me. <laughs> and he gave play the pirate, fluffy pirate hat thing. <laughs> He gave me that. And I still have it. Uh, like I keep it on display because it is my most memorable. There you Morton's go. List. Yeah. But uh, yeah, eventually they were like, "You're playing Morton's List, aren't you?" We were like, "Oh shit, we've been caught. We gotta leave." <laughs> and then we proceeded to go from there up to uh, I think it was Juggler Night Court. I'm pretty sure. And Pondo was hosting it. So we went up there to see if we could just be ridiculous, and all of us walked into the tent from different directions, all yelling "arg" and just, you know, being pirates at everybody and recording it, and everybody's just looking at each other like, what's happening? One of our group members, or one of our uh, inner circle members went up onto the stage where Pondo was. Pondo about rocked him right in the face. He pulled his fist back like he was going to hit him, and then the guy went, Morton's List! And Pondo was like, Man, that's the only thing you could have possibly said to get you out of the situation. <laughs> awesome. But yeah, that's, that was my most memorable. That's a good one. That's <laughs> awesome. I had to juggle this in my head for a sec. But most memorable was the reincarnation of Chris McGaff at a hog rock when we had a huge ass karmic parade with like a oh, shit ton of motherfuckers who were uninvolved. Ran him around. We carried him shoeless across the entire fucking ground, being paraded between like the dude who was running the gathering that year and some other fucking cart in the back. He had to eat a horrible concoction made by Jesus, the original Jumbo Combo Burrito Man. And then he had to strip, burn his clothes, run around in a circle, and then jump over a barbed wire fence naked into Hepatitis Lake. And then he was reborn, reincarnated, etc. I don't regret having to witness that. It was certainly memorable, though. Somebody hot wiring a golf cart for a quest. Which, ga that's which, ga yeah, which gathering did that happen at? Uh, the 20th anniversary gathering in Indiana. Okay. What does the future of Morton's List look like to you? anything like the horns this past I would say it's like just like the game whatever you put into it is what you're gonna get out of it and if you just want to do jack shit and sit there what's gonna happen but jack shit and you just sitting there and if you go wild and you want to see that shit fucking go fucking awesome it's gonna do that too and here I am doing this I find that the future of Morton's List is as mysterious as Morton. That is my answer. It looks pretty much like what it is now. Unless other people are going to step up and try to compete with us, this is the level we can provide.
Hope you enjoyed that video and a big thanks to Chris, Ian, and Tox for doing the interview and everything they do with the gathering. And thank you for the epic banner behind us. We appreciate it greatly. It makes a nice centerpiece for our videos. And if you want to play Morton's List at the gathering, now you know who to look for. So Hoy, why don't you tell them what to do next? What you should do is like, subscribe, comment, and share this video and hit that icon bell so you know when we have new content coming out. And look in the description for this video, we have a web store and we sell some merchandise. So get yourself some Epic Quest or Random Adventures merch, stickers, t-shirts, and hell, we even have a fanny pack. So thank you, live epic, and play Morton's List, and you know, have some random adventures. Whoop, whoop. <laughs>